And this is a very special segment indeed because I'm in the showroom of the only car manufacturer that really offers well over 80 veneers, hundreds of leather options, deep pile rug that is so deep your hand actually disappears into it and get this, at least 44,000 colour options that can go with the car. I'm of course talking about the makers of the most luxurious vehicles in the world, Rolls-Royce. And this is a special segment, understanding the Rolls-Royce experience. Take a quick ride in any Rolls-Royce and you will quickly realize why it sits right at the pinnacle of everything that is great in the automotive world. No other car brand out there, in fact no other vehicle out there can really match the kind of opulence that you will get from riding a Rolls-Royce and I'm only in a Rolls-Royce ghost. Now imagine what I'd be like if I came out from a Phantom. Well, two different kinds of experience, but here's a third and a new one in Malaysian shores. And this is going to be something just completely bonkers. This is not going to be a drive segment because we don't have enough time for it. But here's to giving you a taste of what the greatest grand tour in the world would feel like, starting with this very cool door handle. I think if I were to repeat what everybody already knows about the Rolls-Royce being the ultimate automobile in this world is, uh, well, it's quite a redundant thing to do. Everybody knows that if you're thinking about luxurious vehicles, you're thinking and you would be thinking of none other than Rolls-Royce. Uh, yes, there are other brands that uh, pose to be pretenders, but really, really, the pinnacle is right here underneath me enveloping me in my hands right now this is the ultimate car brand but it is the ultimate car brand when you're considering luxury when you're considering comfort being wafted as plushly as you can in unmatched serenity that is exactly what a rolls royce is meant to do so when the good people from goodwood introduced a vehicle that is supposed to do all that but yet at the same time screams performance screams agility and also rapidity in a vehicle with a design that harks back to the 1930s coach builders line in the rolls royce wraith that i'm in right now one wonders what you could expect this car has a six and three quarters of a liter engine it pushes out wait for it 624 brake horsepower and it pushes out about 800 newton meters of torque this car weighs two and a half tons and is about five just under five and a half meters long it is a long big and heavy vehicle with immense amount of power it is supposed to be the ultimate gt car bar none it has two doors which opens as you saw earlier in a very unique way it has a ride quality of the best magic carpet aladdin could buy himself if there was such a thing and it sits four people very comfortably and i do mean four people very comfortably even at the back the power that this thing has is so great yet at the same time it does not present it to you in a vulgar kind of way in fact the power is presented to you in a very serene and very gentlemanly kind of way it's it doesn't shout hey you step on the gas but rather it politely taps on your shoulder and says good sir care to push along quickly <laughs> it's just bizarre 
the Rolls Royce experience is like none other in this world because you get to do everything that you want to do in a great performing GT but also at the same time you know that you will never ruffle more than just a, a couple of whispers of hair off your face and you know that if you were to be consuming the beverage of your choice from the back seat you will not have to worry about spilling any of it on your very well pressed shirt because it still wafts it still wow now the ethos of rolls royce is effortless everywhere and indeed this car is effortless it may be very big and very heavy but it is very easy to drive apart from that the width the length the size of the car the weight of the car everything is made familiar to you very early on and very quickly even the way the power is delivered you're not supposed to stop on the gas but rather you are to tickle the throttle because even with the slightest tickle it comes to you by the bucket load i don't feel like i have enough words to describe the rolls royce experience it's just Posh. Right then, the Rolls Royce brand of luxury, really there's nothing quite like it because it is a type of luxury that envelops you in every single good way that you could think of. It is something that a lot of people aspire to have and aspire to be associated with. And being in Asia, this is the market that is probably the most exciting for Rolls Royce and with products like the Wraith, you can rest assured that the future, especially when Rolls Royce is involved, is going to be extremely posh.